conjunction diode and followed by S. Circuit is like this. Here, battery is of the 1.5 volt. From the battery, positive terminal goes to positive of the PN junction diode. Okay, and the negative terminal goes to milliammeter, which is connected in series with the PN junction diode and connected to negative of the battery. Now, the voltmeter is connected in the parallel of the PN junction diode. Okay. Now the positive of the battery goes to positive terminal and negative black is negative negative goes to negative terminal okay here show that voltmeter here this is the PN junction diode of germanium and this is the PN junction diode of the silicon okay positive of the voltmeter goes to positive terminal similarly negative of the voltmeter goes to negative terminal which is connected in parallel with PN diode okay. now positive of the emitter goes to positive terminal and negative goes to negative terminal which is connected in series with the PN junction diode okay now to find list count of the voltmeter here shown that from 0 to 0.2 there is a 10 division between them so we can write 0.2 by 10 is list count of the voltmeter okay okay for the voltmeter shown in the meter is 0 to 0.2 in between them there is a 10 divisions so we can write what is the list count the value of 10 division is 0.2 so value of 1 division is 0.2 by 10 which is 0 0.02 volt okay so you can write list count of the voltmeter is 0 0.02 volt okay now we find the range of the voltmeter range here maximum capacity of the voltmeter is 1 volt okay so this is the range of the voltmeter so we can write the range range is 1 volt okay To find list count of the emitter, there is a 10 division between 0 to 5 milliampere. So we can write 5 by 10 is the list count like this. Okay. In the emitter, there is a 10 division between 0 to 5. Means value of one division is 5 by 10. Value of one division is 5 by 10. Means 0.5 milliampere. Okay. So we can write the List count of the emitter is 0.5 milliampere. Okay, and what is the range? To find the range, to find the range, range means maximum current capacity of the emitter, which is 25 milliampere. Okay, which is the 25 milliampere. So these are the observations which are done. Now for 0 volt, 0 volt, 0 division means 0 volt in the voltmeter and here 0 division in the emitter also. So we can write 0, 0 reading, 0 volt and 0 milliampere, 0 volt and 0 milliampere reading, okay. Now I am changing voltage from the battery, voltage from the battery approximately about 5 division for the voltmeter to deflect here voltmeter is at 5 divisions voltmeter is at 5 divisions means what is the reading 5 into list count 5 division into list count here there is a 5 divisions 5 into list count is 0 0.02 means 0 0.1 here the calculation is like for the 5 division in the voltmeter and list count is 0 0.02 volt means it gives the point 0.1 volt 
okay so we can write 0.1 volt for the 0.1 volt what is the current current is available over here in the emitter okay current is current is 0 milliampere now for the 10 divisions in the voltmeter for the 10 divisions what is the value for the 10 division value is 0.2 for the 10 divisions means 10 into 0 0.02 gives 0 0.2 volt so we can write 0 0.2 for the 0 0.2 volt for the 0 0.2 volt what is the current current is one division deflected means for the one division of current for the one division of current one into list count what is the list count is which is the 0.5 milliampere so we can write 0.5 milliampere current is flowing from the emitter okay now for the 0.3 volt for the 0.3 volt in the voltmeter by changing the voltage from the battery to the 15 divisions 15 divisions gives value of 0.3 volt okay so for the 0.3 volt what is the current current is again at one division means 0.5 milliampere 0.5 milliampere again at 0.5 milliampere okay similarly for 0.4 volt for 0.4 volt okay 20 division means 20 into list count which is 0 0.02 gives the 0.4 and also written on the meter 0.4 volt for the 0.4 volt okay current is again current is again not it's two division current is two division means two division into list count what is the list count list count is the 0 0.5 means 2 into 0 0.5 gives the 1 milliampere means 2 into list count what is the 2 into list count is 0 0.5 milliampere which gives the 1 milliampere reading from the emitter 1 milliampere similarly for the 0.5 volt similarly for the 0.5 volt For the 0.5 volt what is the current current is uh, three divisions three divisions is three into 0.5 1.5 milliampere okay so for the 0.5 three into uh, list count means three into 0.5 which gives the 1.5 milliampere it's like 1.5 milliampere now for the 0.6 volt 0.6 volt for the 0.6 for the 0.6 there is a lots of current drawn from the emitter which is after the 5 volt 5 milliampere there is a 6 divisions after the 5 there is a 6 division so we can write total division is 10 plus 15 plus 1 16 16 divisions okay so for the 16 divisions into list count okay 16 into list count is 0.5 means 8 milliampere from the emitter current flown from the emitter is 8 milliampere now for the 0.7 volt 0.7 volt okay changing the voltage from the battery for the 0.7 volt meter is deflected out so we can take a small reading so we can take small reading from the volt meter okay after 0.6 we deflect only one division okay one division means it gives after the 0.6 one division means the list count is 0 0.02 so we can write 0.62 okay so we take 0.62 volt for this what is the current we will find or we can say that after the 10 there is a 3 division okay so list count of the emitter is 0.5 so we can write <coughs> after the 10 there is a 3 means 11 11.5 11 milliampere 11.5 11 milliampere okay. Okay. similarly taking reading of small division in the voltmeter for again one division this is 0.64 or you can also find by the 
टोटल डिविजन्स टेन ट्वेंटी थर्टी थर्टी टू थर्टी टू डिविजन्स थर्टी टू इंटू डिस्काउंट थर्टी थर्टी टू इंटू डिस्काउंट मीन्स थर्टी टू इंटू पॉइंट जीरो टू ओके विच गिव द पॉइंट सिक्सटी फोर वर्ल्ड्स ठीक है नाउ फोर पॉइंट सिक्सटी सिक्स वैल्यू ऑफ करंट इज ट्वेंटी माइक्रो एम्पियर ओके पॉइंट सिक्सटी सिक्स वैल्यू ऑफ करंट इज ट्वेंटी माइक्रो एम्पियर नॉट ट्वेंटी माइक्रो मिली एम्पियर ट्वेंटी मिली एम्पियर ओके एंड फोर पॉइंट सिक्सटी फोर वी कैन फाइंड सिक्सटी फोर वन डिविजन कम कर देते पॉइंट पॉइंट सिक्सटी फोर करंट इज आफ्टर द टेन दैट इज एट डिविजन एट इन टू पॉइंट फाइव gives 4 milli ampere so it gives 10 plus 4 14 milli ampere so we can write point 4.64 there is a 14 milli ampere current flowing from the emitter done here this practically is in the followed by so we can write we can draw a graph in first quadrant now to plot a graph of pn junction in followed by we have taken x axis as a forward voltage and y axis as a forward current which is in milliampere and voltage is in volts okay so for the reading 0 volt 0 milliampere first point is over here for the point 1 again current is 0 milliampere okay for the point 2 there is a point 5 milliampere for the point 2 there is a point 5 milliampere means here 1 and here point 5 okay for point 3 again point 5 For point four, one milliampere. For the point four, there is a one milliampere. Means half of the two is one milliampere. Now, for the point five, there is one point five milliampere current. Point five, there is one point five. Means this is two. This is one. One and two. Between one and two, there is a one point five milliampere. For the point six, there is eight milliampere. Point six, there is eight. Means eight, eight to point six. Okay. Now, for the point sixty-two, there is approximately twelve milliampere current. For point sixty-two, sixty-two means two divisions, only two divisions. There is a twelve, approximately twelve divisions current at the point sixty-two. Okay. Then, and for point sixty-six, there is a twenty microampere. For point sixty-six, sixty-six means that six divisions. हमने लिया वाले यहाँ पे. It's a twenty microampere. current so for the forward characteristics we can plot a smooth curve not using scale smooth curve okay this is the forward characteristics of the pn junction diode for this we want to find the threshold voltage how we can find we will put scale on this points and take a dotted line not a dotted line which will intersect at the voltage this voltage is known as the threshold voltage this point is known as the threshold voltage which is 0.55 okay so we can write threshold voltage is equals to 0.55 volt okay which is the answer of the forward bias Here we can write scale as x axis is equals to one centimeter is equals to point one volt is equals to point one volts and for y axis one centimeter is equals to two milliampere for the y axis one centimeter is equals to two milliampere.